Nothing will stop the heart and soul of the Israeli people. This year, the 12th annual Sufi Music Festival in the desert drew a huge crowd and a chance to heal and recalibrate. I went to this festival in Kfar Nokdim. Here's more. <laughs> Putting a special spin on an ancient tradition. In the shadow of October 7th and the war against Hamas, the 12th annual Sufi festival delivered much needed healing energy in the heart of the Judean desert. I'm broken and. Uh... It's just, that's the, the place to be now in the world, here and now to do it. To come back to the desert and to come back together, it's a rebirth. Artist, musician and poet Gilran Shama is one of the founders of the festival. He's known around the world for embodying the spirit of a warrior of peace and harmony in the Middle East. It's all about shining life and choosing life and uh, being alive and uh, shining it to the world that violent is not the way and violent cannot break the spirit uh, of a whole generation that uh, want to live and want to celebrate and we find we are looking for a way to do it with the grave and with the pain and to honor the kidnapped people and to honor the soldiers and the wounded soldiers and the broken families and with it to bring a message of unity, peace and uh, hope. Yoni Bendor is among the over 100 musicians of all ages and ethnicities who performed on a unique stage, surrounded by over a thousand people converging in harmony. We have this world of feelings or trauma, whatever it is, and it has some shape. And music is something that, you know, is moving our feelings, is uh, letting us um, an opportunity to meet things that maybe we wouldn't feel other, otherwise because it doesn't speak to our logic. Sufism is an ancient spiritual practice attributed to Islam. The music and dancing are an expression of the wisdom of the heart and the path of love. Few researchers are saying that Sufis are uh, from the beginning of humanity. And then when the Islam came to these countries, they took the shape and they started to call themselves Sufis. The mystic way is perceived by the Sufis as a journey of the heart of God. And over the course of history, Sufism was a common link between Muslims and Jews. It's a combination of understanding and practice where deep things can be uh, rediscovered. It's not something that we have to learn from the outside. With the whirling, we are like knocking on a, some door very, very uh, deep in the heart. For three days, this diverse crowd communed with the soothing sights and sounds of the desert. Kfar Hanogdim is an ancient oasis situated in the mountains of the Dead Sea. The Sufi uh, music and culture is much ahead before the big religions. And it's uh, the mystic of the Middle East. And our ancestors uh, discovered very deep power of healing in music and storytelling and in the zikr and dancing. And all these sacred arts come to salvate the soul, to give hope. And we are creating here a bubble of protection. Among the musicians taking the stage, Mark Eliyahu, a world-renowned composer, Kamenchi master, and performer. Eliyahu fuses East and West by combining ancient instruments with modern and futuristic electronics, a sound that transcends time and space. We give intention 
that all the people that came here will take the light from here and spread it in their neighborhoods, in their families, and uh, we're gonna create a field of light, and this time it's for real. Wow. We need it, like air, like water. And by tapping into these ancient tunes, we can set a new tone for a more peaceful future. Inkfar Hanokdim, Emily Francis, I-24 News.